Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video, we made a component for this pagination, which looked like this simple pagination. And in today's video, we'll be making a component for a table. So currently, what does it look like? We can see it here in our categories index.view file and the table looks like this. Now let us convert this into a component. We can see here that for all the headers, the pattern is same like name, accents and everything will look the same. The only different for each and every table will be this, the body part. So we'll be extracting all these things into the, into the component and we'll add this into a slot. So let's begin. Now let us create a component name as table inside our components folder. So here, let me initialize it. Okay, now let me copy everything from here table and let me paste it over here and let me format it and in place of the body we'll say here slot and the headers data will be getting as a props as headers. So let's say headers and it will be type as array and required will be true. Now we can do is B for header index in headers and let's give it a key and here let's say header so I'm just giving it a key. So I'm just concatenating this string header dash to this index. Let me format it. And in place of the name we want is header. And we can now remove this. Now let us use this component in our this categories index space. So let us first import it here. And let's say import app table from table. And let us add it over here as well and now let us use it over here now we have to pass here the headers and let us write the headers here now let us define these headers in this component so that will be name and action so let's say here computed property headers and it will return an array since headers will always be an array because we have here added the validation and those will be here name and action okay this part we have accomplished now we need this part here yeah? so if we look here in the table component there is a slot inside the t body yeah so we can just caught it from here and so let us not make it a self-closing let us add a closing tag here and inside here we can add this tr part since there is a slot it will be inserted into here this part now we can completely remove this table from here and let me also format it okay now we have extracted this table into a component also let's say we want several class to be added into this header but if we use this configuration over here like this, so we have only passed here array, which is the array of strings, then we will not be able to give the classes to each and every headers. And we cannot add any extra behavior to these headers. So for that, we have to pass the array of objects. So let us do that. So before that, let us just check if this refactor is working or not. So let me open the console here and let me refresh the page. So you can see here everything is working fine. So we have successfully refactored our table into a component. Now let us modify our table so that we could add additional information to our headers. So let's say we want this action to be on the right hand side of our table. Then we can give text right class to it. So with our current configuration we cannot. Now let's do that. Okay here. So instead of this string let us pass object. So we can see here name as name and in here also let us say name as action and let's say class as text 
right now if we go in this table component then now we cannot access it as a header now we have to access it as a header dot name because there is a name property in this header and in place of this class we can see here let us make it a dynamic class and we can see here header dot class or text left so in this way if we don't pass any class that all the text will always be aligned to the left and if we pass any class then it will replace this one so now if i go to the website and refresh the page now you can see here the action is now in the right hand side and if i inspect this and if we see here so you can see here, here it has the action has the text right and the name has a text left and if we look here in our action this is coming from here and also we want this all this edit and delete button to go to the right hand side of the table so we can say here justify end so we can see here now the action is on the right hand side of the corner and the name is on the left so let's see if we have many other fields here in between then action will always be on the right hand side of our table so guys we have successfully converted our table into its own component so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye